Welcome back to Aussie Preppers and welcome back to another video. Now, I want you guys to bear with me for this one. Um, it's not a video I really wanted to make, but I do believe that I must warn people after having been called out. I'm a bit embarrassed to say, um, last week I did an unboxing review of a um, Gerber survival hatchet. And um, I had been told the fake Gerber survival hatchet. And I want you to watch this video, and this will be the last Gerber Bear Grylls video for quite some time. Um, like I said, it's not a video that I want to make, but I feel like I have to make it just to warn people so you're not wasting your money buying stuff off eBay that is fake. So let's go inside and have a closer look and see where the problem lies. Now unfortunately I was trying to save a couple of dollars and I ordered a Bear Grylls survival hatchet off eBay and this is what they sent me. This is exactly how it came. It just came like that. Plastic and it was just wrapped in an envelope when it arrived in the mail. Now I was a little bit suspicious the second it arrived because it wasn't in its original package and it did not come with the priorities of survival guide. It just come exactly like this. Now I did end up purchasing an original Bear Grylls survival hatchet because I need one for my camping bag or bug out bag or survival bag or whatever you want to call it. So the first thing you notice is that the original one comes in this clamshell case. Okay. It also comes with the um, Bear Grylls Priorities of Survival Pocket Guide. The colour of this seems to be different, but we'll have a closer look at that once we get this out of the packet. And it comes with a sheath at the back. Okay, so there is what an original one looks like when it arrives. And here's what a fake looks like when it arrives. Now, I will point out some of the features, how you can identify a fake without having this one next to it for you guys. Now, I'll get this out of the packaging and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and it will become quite obvious why this is a fake and why this is real. Okay, let's compare the real one to the fake one. Now the difference between the real one and the fake one should be quite obvious here just looking at it. If you're looking at the rivets, the real one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rivets. The fake one's got four rivets. Now that's probably the easiest, most simplest and quickest way of spotting a fake just from a photo even. That might be posted up on eBay. Now if you look at the finish of it, this has got a matte finish and this has got a shiny finish. The writing and um, embroidery is not too bad on both of them. That's the original, that's the fake. Now when you turn them around, another easy to spot difference is the real one has got a tag on there saying made in China. The fake one doesn't. Now on the real one, this is down like this. On the fake one, this is sticking up. So there's some obvious differences. Just from visually looking at these. The real one is a lot more stiff and sturdy material than the fake one, which is really quite thin and flimsy compared to the real one. Looking at the actual survival hatchet, the first thing you'll notice is the colour. This one is a lot darker and this one's a lot lighter, okay, this being the fake one. This one is also a different colour orange, which you can spot there, okay, the fake one is more orangey ready orange whereas this one's the more brighter orange if you're looking at the logo this is very poor quality logo compared to this one okay the quality of the actual logo and the writing is a lot better than the finish on this one which almost looks like it's faded now another big difference is the actual thickness of the blade now here's the real one which is about six millimeters thick. Now let's have a look at the fake one, or 5.3. So it's about, you know, 0.8 of a millimeter thinner steel 
than the real one. And you can see it, just looking at it there, you can see that one is definitely thicker than the other one. And you'd actually think that it's more than 0.8 of a millimetre difference, but that's all it is. Now, the next most obvious thing is the fake one, the tape of the blade is up here. The real one, it's back there. Okay, that's a big difference. But you can notice straight away, just looking at it, when you see that line versus that line on the real one. Now, the final and biggest difference is that the real one is razor sharp, literally razor sharp, whereas this one here is blunt. Okay, you can run your fingers on that. Okay, it doesn't do anything. You would not be doing that with the real one. You'd be cutting yourself. Okay, that is blunt. You can see how hard I'm pressing that there without you know, doing any harm to my hand. Now, there's no way that I'll be doing that, what I just did with the fake one in my hand, with the real one, because I'd have a cut down to the bone. Okay, this is razor sharp, and this one is blunt. Okay, let's just, it's literally razor sharp, you can see there. I've just chafed my arm with it without any problems. To his credit, the seller of the fake one, once I've contacted him and explained to him what the issue was, has agreed to give me a full refund on this um, hatchet. So this will be gone. And this real one is going into my survival bag or bug out bag or camping bag or whatever you like to call it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Aussie Prepper. Thanks for watching and bye for now.